Hello everyone, uh, I am Alif from Epscode. In this video, I will show you how a QDB provisioned MariaDB cluster face the disaster, disaster recovery. So we have a MariaDB cluster deployed of version 10.4.17 uh, that's in ready status. And in this cluster, we have three nodes, uh, sample MariaDB 0, 1, and 2. For simulating the disaster scenario, we are going to manually delete one pod and see what happens next. So before deleting the pod, I want to show the data in the nodes. So let's exec into a pod. Uh, we are executing into the first pod and connecting to the MySQL server. So let's check out the data into the MySQL server. So here we have a database named company and uh, in the company database, there is a table with two rows. So now let's delete the port zero. So the port zero is in terminating state and uh, initially the cluster size was three for this database object. And if we check the cluster size now, uh, we can see the cluster. Okay, uh, the server is in terminating state. So this node will not respond to the request. So we are going to connect to another node that is not in terminating state. So let's connect to the node one and see the cluster size. So now the cluster size is two. And if we look at the MariaDB object status that is critical, uh, if the object status is critical, that means uh, the database is going to take request, but uh, the whole cluster is not in good shape. Some of the nodes are not online. So we will wait until the status comes online. So here we can see the first pod is in running state, but the status is critical. That means uh, the first pod is uh, trying to join the existing cluster. Okay, uh, the status is in now ready. So let's check out the cluster size. So we can see the cluster size is three. And if we try to check out the data, uh, we can see that data is still here and we can check the data from the node zero or the node which we have deleted so this is the zeroth node and if we check the data from the zeroth node we can see the data is still in perfect shape so uh, this is just single node failure scenario. If uh, a one or multiple node is deleted from the cluster, it will automatically join to the cluster. And now we will simulate the full database cluster, full database cluster scenario. That means all nodes are going to be deleted. So if we delete all the nodes, uh, all three nodes are in terminating state and uh, when all three nodes are terminating uh, and it comes online at first uh, each of the node try to communicate with other and try to generate a num sequence number that is uh, that is the number for calculating the latest commit of the database for a node so uh, if the sequence number is greater than other, then uh, that will, could be a potential node where we are going to boost up the cluster. So database is in critical state and all speed ports are in running. So if we try to connect to a database server, suppose for node zero, then uh, we won't be able to connect because the uh, server is not online yet. Uh, we can check some logs from the Coordinator 
container here. Uh, here we can get the idea of what's happening inside each of the ports. It will take two or three minutes to reconstruct the cluster. At first, uh, the port with highest CPS number will boost up the cluster and rest of the nodes will join the cluster later. So still yet for port zero, no primary component is online yet. They're trying to generate sequence number for each port. It will take two or three minutes to reconstruct the cluster. Well, now you can see recovering sequence number from the crash, crash mode. And it says it is a full cluster crash scenario. Well, our first node is online. And if we check the cluster size, uh, we can see that the cluster size is one. That means a uh, cluster is boosted from the node one and these two nodes, uh, node, these two nodes are trying to join the cluster. And these are the sequence number. Well, uh, other tumors have joined the cluster and now we have the cluster of size three. And if we check the data, which uh, we have inserted earlier is intact. So we can say uh, if uh, QD provision MariaDB is case any failover, uh, either it's full cluster or a partial node a failure scenario, it will bootstrap without any manual intervention or manual configuration.